We've talked about character, dialogue, story and theatricality, but you'll need one more element to write a winning play. Comedy and or drama. Imagine you've got all those other elements right, but your play is a comedy that isn't funny. It's not going to work. Similarly, if it's a drama with no dramatic interest, then it's unlikely to be an engaging, memorable experience for your audience. Let's start by looking at drama. It's commonly said that conflict is what creates interest in a drama. Conflict exists in many forms. Two characters fighting over something, one character concealing a secret from others, a heated argument between several people. Conflict leads to what we call dramatic tension, which is any kind of tension between characters or between a character and the audience. Sexual tension, animosity, hatred, love or unrequited feelings of any kind can all add to the drama. Here are some tricks to creating dramatic tension. 1. Start by giving your character a goal, then put something in the way of that goal. It could be an internal factor like fear. If we use the example of a fantasy quest, your character's goal might be to save the princess but they're terrified of the villain who kidnapped her. They need to overcome their fear to succeed. Or it could be an external factor like their magical sword being stolen halfway through the journey. Now their chances of defeating the villain aren't looking so great. 2. Create a second character whose goal conflicts directly with the first character. If character A is trying to win the heart of character B, this mission will be a whole lot tenser if character C is also trying to get B. Giving two characters conflicting goals creates great tension and rivalry. 3. Make sure the dramatic tension doesn't all come out at once. Have it come out in drips or bursts, vary it up. An absence of tension can create a calm before the storm effect, which can heighten what comes next. When you go for your climax, try speeding up the pace. That can really escalate the tension. Another thing you can do is raise the stakes. Raising the stakes is where you add more value to what is happening on stage. E.g. a woman is chained to a bomb and has five minutes before it detonates. The person trying to rescue her discovers she's a paediatric surgeon. She's no longer just a normal woman, she's a saviour of children. Her value has now been increased and the stakes have been raised. Another example of raising the stakes is giving the character something to lose. Put their lover or a family member at risk and the stakes have just increased. Think about what raising the stakes means in a poker match. How would you feel watching a hand where the bet is at a million dollars compared to 20 cents? If your audience is invested in the outcome of your play, they will really feel the dramatic tension. If you make them like your characters, they'll really want them to win. Similarly, if you make them despise your villains, then they'll be desperate to see them lose. If you watched Game of Thrones, you'll see they use this technique constantly by creating really hateable bad guys and really lovable heroes. Curiosity also creates tension. Imagine you're waiting to hear the results of a medical test or, or a major exam. You'll likely be feeling pretty nervous. You can create a similar kind of anxiety in your audience by making them want to know something but not telling them. Like think about a murder mystery. If it's handled well, your audience will be bursting to know who did it. So think about rationing out information rather than giving it away all at once. Keeping your audience guessing is a great way to keep them engaged. 